All right, everybody. This is Nash here, and today we have the TCU versus Texas every play video. And TCU, they won. Uh, obviously, it's not not going to be a fun video to watch if you're a Texas Longhorn fan. If you're a TCU fan, go ahead, enjoy it. Go ahead, cop in the comments section if you're here. Gloat, gloat away. Drop a like while you're here as well. You know. Uh, sorry for the Texas Longhorn fans for having an out a day late, but I'm sure you can understand my pain and not wanting to do this. That I'm like hopping on it immediately, but. Oh, this was not a fun video to make, and it wasn't necessarily a bad game from the entire team. It was there was a lot of there. There are some bright spots, and we'll talk about those later in the week. But for now, drop a like on the video, hit the subscribe button, and comment down below what you think about the game. All right, everybody, loud and proud. Welcome. Kickoff. We don't have a chance. From the six. Davis cannot get the edge in the Longhorn coverage team swarms him. In a place he's familiar with competing in. Gets it right out to Davis on the edge, a couple of blocks. You notice that 24. In second and five, Duggan from the pocket zips it incomplete. Early third and five. And that crowd noise is real. The Texas students are down there at the end of the stadium. And it's an uncomfortable Full start, number start for this offensive line. Offense, five-yard penalty, still third down. They played that flinch to try to get a little hurry up to get out there to protect their quarterback. On third and ten, Longhorns bring four. Plenty of time for Duggan, who throws low and behind. Miller was coming out of the backfield, and it's a quick three and out for TCU. You can see a little twist up front, but they're able to sit back, keep their eyes on Duggan, plan some zone, little matchup underneath, drop a couple safeties, really take everything away. And you can see Byron Murphy, I think, get a hand on that ball. Actually, it was big 93, Sweat, that knocked that ball down where Millie couldn't make the play. So, technical position. And punt is away. Xavier Worthy, talented, big play wide receiver comes up. Almost blocked, a good job by Sandy here. Let's see if he was touched. He immediately went to the ground because of how close. Yeah, I don't think there is, I don't think there was any contact. I think he went right underneath. There's a progressive pylon cam. Yeah, he went right underneath, but his instincts as a punter, of course, told him to go down. But for fans, Everybody remembers special teams, how important they are. Kickoff coverage, a punt. Now you start your first drive in plus territory. Robinson, of course, in the pistol. And they fake it to him. Yours flips it along the sideline. A long throw is broken up. This ball late and affects the timing. Remember, he's a young guy. Throw it now. Put it out in front of Worthy. He easily gets separation. He easily gets over the corner who, who had dropped underneath. Throw, but just an extra hitch. A little bit late, a little bit behind. Robinson on second and ten. Falls forward. Working his way back to being who he's capable of being as a corner. Now a third and seven run around the end. It's Roshan Johnson. And a direct snap to B. John Robinson. He's not going to get there. The Horned Frogs stand him up and stone him. Right he came in and cleaned it up, but I want you to watch Hodge right here. It's fourth and short. Not surprised at all with a direct snap. Look at him get downhill in a hurry. Takes on the block, and then he's able to get off of that block and rally to the football. Exceptional job by Jamoy Hodge on this play here early in this game. So Texas can't. Opportunities and see if TCU can make the most of them and see if Texas can hold up in coverage. Miller on the reverse. Tate Barber, long way to run, and he's bumped out of bounds. 20 pounds and can move. That last play you saw Coburn on the run. Miller, powerful run. No blitz. And Duggan has the pocket collapse around him, and he's dropped for a loss. It's Baron Sorrell. Usually how they end up getting home, because they don't have at this point with the recruiting the guys that can win with speed, but they have the power. And there you see Sorrell, as Chris mentioned, just pushing that offensive tackle right back into the face, Coker into the quarterback. So edges collapse right on top of Duggan. Defense that leads the nation in quarterback pressures gets to Duggan for the first time, and they, this time they do hit the punter. 
And the flag comes out. Rush that time got a little too close. In the field, there's a there flag. There are two fouls on the play, both on the receiving team. Running into the kicker, number 21, receiving team. That penalty is declined. Holding number 91, receiving team. That penalty will be enforced at the end of the kick. First down, Texas. Smell pretty solid. I would have gone it here, Bill. roughing the kicker. You would have gone roughing. I would have gone roughing. He, oh, here's a about great look back. here. Yeah, he's kind of blocked in a position where he twists around and knocks Sandy down. Again, Sandy, second time, he starts falling before Crawford even hit him. Roshan Johnson in the quarterback position. He gets the direct snap this time, and he tries to run right and fares no better than Robinson did. Yeah, Every snap. Great discipline, and, you know, they knew. They've been challenged all week. You got beach on Robinson. Everybody's saying he's the best back in the country. We think we got a good one. Let's get after him. Off the play action, yours. Flips it over the middle, and it's airmail over the hands of picked it up you see pressure coming this way from the backers drop the edge players got a one-on-one -on -one. got to make that throw even though you got the pressure and he does he makes the right choice on who to throw the football to offense is dealing with third and longs tonight this is third and ten for texas yours is going to be smacked to the ground that was dylan horton the lead early yeah i just admit it's a true freshman right here at right guard out here in this atmosphere going up against a really talented explosive pass rusher the best that they have to offer in dylan horton and i don't even think Ewers saw him he got in there so quickly tackle banks so four possessions no first down so far in the football game daniel trejo on the booted away not particularly deep and it's TCU, which will be going over the entire TV TV timeout. He had the officials over there. Duggan, low throw to Barber, who goes down and catch game. Yep. Both Duggan and Ewers under consistent pressure. Here comes Texas with the blitz. Hit as he throws and bounces it in there as a flag in the offensive line pit. Personal foul. Hands to the face, number 90. Defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. In the pit tonight. Yeah, you got Predge. Pressure on the outside by Sorrell, but what you mentioned, the, the blitz from the nickel, Jade Barron. But look right here is where that pressure, where they eventually made the call on the hands of the face by Murphy, just to the left side there. He's trying to fight to get in there. That would have been a big play on second and long, which is for TCU. Ball moved to the Longhorns, 35. Miller hit backfield and dropped for a loss. Having a big night. Watch how they take a little zone read, take the back, and you got the safety there, 23, that's there for the quarterback. Defensive coordinator so far in these first three possessions. Dug it under pressure again and knocked down. And that's Sorrell, who cannot be blocked at the moment. Uh, he's, he's just too much for this offensive line. Remember, true freshman, young players all across this field, and the veterans are stepping up and emerging. Sorrell, not just the power. It's an offensive line that's experienced. Yeah. Hoppish wants to be the personality of the team. DiMarcato in the game for Miller takes the flip and gets back to the 36 yard line. Play clock at two. And they just let it expire. Sonny Dykes did not Offense, spend a time out. Which would Still lend, fourth down. Lend the worthy waiting at the seven yard line. And Sandy, who's very good at booting the ball high and forcing fair catches, teams rarely return his punts, and that is perfect execution. Up at the one. Robinson, very hard to stop him at the line of scrimmage, but the frogs are very keyed in on him, as you'd expect. That was being facetious. No, no one would expect this. Robinson, kind of an awkward handoff as Ewers had to reach to get him the football. And he again has stopped. Mm -hmm. Ewers from the end zone across the middle, and it's dropped. That's another drop for this Texas receiving core. What a call. Safety split. The middle is wide open. The ball is a little low, but Sanders is so gifted. That's a ball that he typically, nine out of ten times, ten out of ten times, you would think he makes that catch back in their own end zone. So between the drops and the pass rush, neither offense able to do anything so far. Trejo punts it and the fair catch not made. Davis tries to make something happen. He'll be chased down and slung down at the 45-yard line. You throw the ball down the field, he is a big-time playmaker, Chris. 
It sure is. It's Miller testing the middle, and he's the kind of receiver that really started the season. He had 12 catches the first four games, and then the injury setting him back. Miller picks his way and falls forward for a first down. And the pitch to Davis on the end around. The Longhorns chase him down and knock him down for a loss. Anthony Cook from the motion. It's going to come here. Remember, he is world class speed. This safety understands that if he sees 11 go in the jet sweep, I've got to react. The rest of the defense reacts. Great team pursuit. Great angles. Nowhere. Empty backfield. Longhorns are showing some pressure and they bring it. Ball out, batted away very quickly. And it's that man on the edge, Baron Sorrell. I no so doubt. And they walk up their two inside linebackers. Nobody picks him up because of the linebackers walked up. Coker with the call. He came down to help out on the inside. And the guy that's having the big night, nobody picked up. Tory. This time Duggan has time. He delivers a dart down the field. And it's caught by Johnson. And he's still running. And the big play was by the offensive line. They're playing zone. Johnston, who's known to go downfield, this time settles in perfectly. Look at the poise and the calm demeanor there on third and long with an offense that's not been clicking, makes a bit of chance. Tough for a linebacker over Sean in coverage there. Now on first down, run it up the middle and it's a short for it. Duggan with the keeper and he'll be dropped for a loss. That's Ryan Watts. The 3 2 6 They play him into the boundary. That everybody's expecting, and all lives are on 15. Anytime, especially in the red zone, TCU puts the ball in the belly of the back. Somebody's got to account for Duggan pulling it. To you, that's outrageous. Miller motions to the left on third and ten. Duggan running out of time. Cannot escape yet. Another sack, the third for Texas. Well, it's the coverage back here that eventually leads to this sack. Look at Duggan, his eyes are completely locked in on this side right here. But look at the coverage, and by the time he tries to come off that, remember he's perfect on the year, 10 for 10 in field goals. This from 34 yards, and uh, he missed it for the first time this year. Off target, gets left in the first quarter. Holt looks snap in the holder. Go, oh, the ball was tipped. Texas looked like they got a just got a hand on that. Sideways maybe, spin. Maybe a finger yeah. on that. that. Ends the streak of 12 straight. Wait, let's right here. Yep. Looked like Crawford maybe got in there. So Robinson, that's his best run of the night, really has to earn it and is knocked down after a seven yard game. Step up physically. Ewers launches downfield, has Worthy, but he overshot him by about five yards. So he finally tortured any FBS game all season as dominated by the defenses. The fewest combined yards wow. in the first quarter all year 39. False start, number 54, offense, five yard penalty, still second down. In this kind of setting in a physical game. So behind the six on second and 15. Ewers launches downfield again for Worthy. Can't work his way back. It was good coverage by Josh Newton. Some room to work. They move him around and look at this stride for stride. Chris, you talked about the coverage. Newton transfer from ULM. How about that? And you're talking about Xavier Worthy, arguably one of the top receivers. Once again, Ewers faces a third and long. Gets protection, delivers a throw. No chance to make a play. It was outside. Back with young receivers. Thompson to the, the bottom. He turns inside. Ball's thrown outside. He's a true. Busy for the quarter for both runners. Trejo. This is a good one. It's a line drive, though. It's returnable. Davis had some speed, but he made the catch and it's knocked down. Personal foul. Hands to the face. Kicking team, mm. 15 yard penalty from the end of the kick. First down, TCU. Some two. Couldn't convert from the Texas 49 or 44. Now it's even. Longworth's moving around pre snap. Quick throw is low. Davis makes the catch, but lose. Oppressive, impressive, disruptive, nasty. All that. 
They bring the pressure again. Duggan backpedals and launches downfield. And catch made out of bounds. Chubb, I was looking forward to all week. The size of Watson, the speed. See, the ball takes him out of bounds, but Watts did a good job of, of using that elbow during the route. Great possession of plus territory, zero points. Jordy Sandy has been the star so far, the punter for TCU, and he knocks it high, and the coverage team this time won't have a chance to make a play. With the way they're playing, so aggressive at the line of scrimmage. Really quiet start for Bijan Robinson. He was stopped in that fourth down direct snap, but he's a threat to bust one at any moment. Some quick throws on the edge, maybe. Just anything to kind of get a couple completions, get him going. Off the play action. Or that launch downfield for Worthy into double coverage. And it's intercepted by Hodges Tomlinson. And he's a threat with the ball in his hand. So, so the safeties are up. He likes that he's got a one-on-one -on -one matchup. See, there's no safeties on that back end. But you remember, you got a veteran corner in Hodges Tomlinson who has great vision on the football. That's why he made this play. You see the cushion, eyes are in the backfield. Just in case he takes that shot, he puts himself in position to be able to make a play. 5'9", 180 pounds. Vertically challenged. So TCU one more time, set up at the 34. And one more time, Duggan's under heavy pressure and sacked for a fourth time. A lot of different looks. This time, the edge, man, they've been winning on the edge. They're gonna bring him all the way around to the inside. A gofu confuses this offensive line, gets the pressure, and then you have a linebacker there just kind of waiting. Notre Dame transfer, one of four transfers who start for this defense. Here's the catch made by Davis. Again, they go horizontal, and it's Bear who drops him for a loss. Defenses run these quick throws, and they see this. The ball's out. He splits those two defenders, or two uh, blockers, the receivers. Watch this, instincts right away. Those, usually one guy can handle a defensive row. Duggan, under pressure again, delivers a low throw. Bound a lot more confident, he yeah. told us. This yep. is a different group from last year. So Sandy, who's done his part really well, another high punt, another fair catch back at the five yard line. Thank you folks for your service to the country. So Texas, one more time. Backed up, and Ewers finally gets his first completion of the night. Throws it's a worthy. Transfers back to Texas, so he's truly, by age, a true freshman. Pitch it on the edge to B. John Robinson, who'll make a first down. Yeah, <laughs> talk about leaving high school. And came back to the state of Texas and has settled in very well here. Robinson, no gain. He, he was very philosophical. You know, he, all experience in life. My, my buddies uh, in, in not playing, but. He did it. Here he is on the move. A flag comes out behind the play as you back. Holding number 70. Offense, 10 yard penalty. Still second down. And in a tight, scoreless, deep backfield. Three receivers bunch to the left. Ewers looked that direction. Now flips it back across the middle, and it's incomplete. He threw it into track. And he gets hit pretty good here. He comes off from the left, back to his right. There's that baseball kind of the way he flips the ball. The, the, uh, the creativity that they have right now, they're just going up against two good defenses. Ewers has time and delivers a pitch, and Sanders finally makes the catch this time, but he's going to be wrestled down way short of them. You don't want to give Darius Davis too many chances to return punts. The dude who's brought five punts back for touchdowns in his career fields this one at the 36, and they knock him down after about... Went on to reach the college football playoff. Of course, three remaining in the regular season and then the one final uh, standings on the on the uh, after championship Saturday. Oh, I have a guess. Miller again, patiently working his way for a couple of yards. It'll set him third and four. All right. Get they had some great teams. Sure did. And Gino. Chase Daniel was in Missouri. They used to battle. Johnson in motion here. Play clock at three. Duggan's looking back to the left and delivers a dart to Jaquaria Spivey made by Barron. The other completions have been at or behind the line. Miller, stutter set, hesitation, and is knocked down after another solid first down game. Sledding so far for both Miller and Robinson. Two back look. They fake it and throw it in the flat to Trent Battle, and the running back has a first down. In uh, he's reading the edge here to try to get a feel if he should hand this off. 
or pull. He pulls and then he flips it to the outside. You know, you're seeing more and more. Try to, how do you impact an edge ball game quickly outside? Di Mercado. It's tough to run and Coburn and sweat and up. big bodies that stay fresh. Play about 30 snaps each. Duggan pressured again. Delivers an accurate throw. And that catch is made and stretching things out is Jared Wiley. Yeah, he's a high school quarterback, Texas transfer. He's got Watts on him. Look at the size, six seven. Just use your body there. Ball is thrown perfectly. Used to throw passes to Quentin Johnson at Temple, yep. Texas High School. De Mercado in the flat and flying in to make the play is Aaron again. Once he sees the motion, watch how. Remember earlier he made a play. He reads it before the play even happens. Eyes are up. Doesn't allow the receiver to make a block. Newman handoff into the middle and setting up a, a third and long. Country. And then now a pre-snap flag on TCU. Moving back five more. See Sonny's expression. If we're not going to set a Delayed scoring game. record. Defense number 99. Five yard penalty. Still third down. So that's a simulation of the snap count. They got Coburn on that. You don't see it often. That matchup at the bottom here. It's Johnson to the left. Doug is looking the other way into the slot. And the catch is made by Tay Barber. The road here is perfect. See how there's a nice big cushion there. Ford trying to show blitz. By the time he got back out into coverage, it was too late. I'll leave him. So wait a second. Sonny Dyke's offense. We're going to stick around and make some plays this season. No hurry to leave. It's Barber who makes the catch, but he's wrestled down by Overshun. 31 total yards. This time the pressure is picked up, but the throw is outside through a the other way and if the quarterback and the receiver don't read it the same way sometimes you get throws like that davis in motion it's just eye candy as they hand it off to miller on third and long and this set a win here two years ago we went four for four against texas and we have points with 121 to play before the break it was interesting the last 30 minutes of the game it's going to be a lot of halftime adjusting isn't there on both sides in the offensive rooms anyway all right, Barry. Would you have known that rather. without looking no. that up? No, okay. I would not. Well, good. I feel better because I, I had no clue. It was more of kind of a did you know to tie in TCU yeah. because in 2014. Oh, Barry, we got a completion. Hold everything. A downfield throw, Bear. Hold on. And he puts it out in front and gets it out on time. Texas has been excellent scoring just before halftime. It's been a serious trend. I think in their last possession before half. Take a quick peek at this. Nice cushion, good read, balls out early, positive yards. 25 yards or so. Three man rush, yours flips it short and incomplete. Yet another drop. Worthy's had a tough night. Work the tight end, possibly. Always a good target for him right here at Sanders. So, Burt Auburn warming up, hoping he gets a shot to tie this game. Yours delivers a shot near midfield. And tackled short of the marker is Jordan Whittington. They're frustrated, I think, because they, they obviously want to see a first down and see them take a chance. What I would love to see is Whittington take that route another two to three yards beyond. You know you're going to get hit as soon as you catch that ball. It's out there. And for now, no urgency. Only a time. Maybe the hoping TCU will be undisciplined here. But choosing not to spend the time out. Crowd frustrated. John Cooper played for at Ohio State. He's, he's tell the media, y'all want to gamble, but you want to gamble with my chips. <laughs> yeah, that's not a popular decision, but that's more of a kind of a reaction to this offensive first half performance. That's a good John Cooper impression. Defense dominated first halves in all of college football this season. Low punt. And just roll dead, and that'll be it. Balanced attack. The line of scrimmage has not gone your way, and you've got to find a way to get your star player, B. John Robinson, going, whether it's running the ball or catching the ball to the backfield. Dylan Robinson works hard to get to the. Because of the targeting call from last week's tech game. Robinson hit right at the line. If you told Sonny Dykes your defense is going to be without its best player third quarter, that's why he was out for the first half. And he's played more snaps than anybody on this Horn Frog defense. 
Second and ten yours. And a completion. And that's Worthy in the slot. He'll work his way for a first down to the 31. Holly? Worthy. Robinson for his ninth carry again. Nowhere to go. He's an incredible room. Yeah, they tried to go heavy on this side. Just a different look. We didn't see this look at all in the first half. Just trying to get. Look at those linebackers. They're sprinting downhill. Linebackers running downhill. Strong shot of Joe Gillespie, defensive coordinator for Sunny Dykes. There's a screen catching it way behind the line and being dropped for a loss. Johnny Hodges, the Navy transfer. Watch his recognition of the tackle showing screen. Right away, he just started to go out there. Again, that, that play doesn't have a chance because the offense shows the savvy to make that play. Texas 0 for on third down, 0 for 6, and on third and 13. You throw it near the marker. Crowd wanted a flag on jump on the play and start to scramble and take off or throw it away. But he sticks with Worthy. Newton gets around him. He's got long arms. Better look at it right here. Eleventh punt of the game. Trejo gets it up, and Davis will let it bounce. And it's going to roll down about the 30. I got quiet because I looked over at Bill and he gave me the pass interference call. He thought that it got away with one there. And potential pick in this draft class. And it's startling to see how few targets he's gotten. Yeah, he's the most targeted guy. With the safety over top. Duggan against a three-man rush ball. Batted down. It's back to the quarterback who makes a reception on his own pass. It was batted back. You know, more often than not, you see the quarterback just... just Knock this down, but his athletic ability takes over. There's sweat again, deflection. Now he's an athlete, but watch Overshone right there. Third and long again. Pressure should come from here. Yep, it does. And Duggan backpedals and dumps down a screen and trying to work his way as Miller. Hard work. What an effort. And Coburn, go back to this play. Watch 18. He feels this. He's right there. Then he cuts back. The offensive line knocks him down. And now it's just effort. Making people miss. Poor tackles by the big fellas there trying to make a play in space. And Scattered again. And immediately swarmed under by big Mr. Sweat. Pressure again. Duggan's hammered. On the blitz, that was Ryan Watts off the quarter. The felt that one. Roll the dice, and you hope that it hits from the backside. Duggan, bang, by the time he senses it, just taken away. The blitz comes from here. The tight end actually breaks free on the mesh route. If he would have had time, he would have been able to see this, but an, uh, unable to make that throw to the right flatter. Gets it out quickly. Long throw to the edge. Jordan Hudson. He's a freshman brought down by Terrence Brooks. At times, it not tackled that well tonight. We saw, that at least on that third down, it was a struggle for Texas, but for the most part, it's been... So far, a tremendous defensive performance by Texas is being wasted because the offense hadn't done anything. Xavier Worthy waves for a fair catch. You guys have a statue outside the stadium. Exit that way. Empty here. Haven't shown this. Yours flips it, and that is an accurate pitch for a first down out of game needs. Great job by Ewers. Hodges Tomlinson kind of stays up in the flat, goes up and over him, gets it in there just in time. Remember, this tight end Sanders has wide receiver skill set, 6'4", 242. Make that play and get his feet down to get out of bounds. Eugene Robinson motions back in, still waiting for, we think, the most talented back in the country to make a play. Ewers from the pocket, flips it incomplete. There was contact and a couple of flags come out in the secondary and end to Johnny Hodges pass interference number one defense 15 yard penalty automatic first down to be clear Patterson's not involved in calling this this Texas defense no, at all an analyst but you see right there he just grabs onto his arm but he can't help it he can't help it he never called That's for pass good. interference when he's a defensive <laughs> he's a beauty Robinson just has had nowhere to run they can't move Dylan Horton off it it's a clinic take for Gary. He would have loved that. Last four carries for Robinson. No gain. Ewers. Long throw, and it's dropped again. The time to Hill Billingsley. Balls that could easily have been caught. This wasn't for a big game, but it would have given him a, about a third and seven here. Sleep. 
not converted yet tonight. And flipped across the middle, incomplete. Tried to get Johnson out of the backfield. Down in the pocket. This is where you do all that drill work, where you have a kind of an awareness and a feel. See how he's moving? His entire body and momentum moving to his right, and then tries to kind of flip it to his left. That's going to affect his accuracy there. So a, a better chance to, to make a completion there. See if Davis is driven way back. No chance to make a return there, and that's a really effective punt by Trejo. It rolls out of Bronx from the seven. Miller. Hammers forward for about three. Duggan on the keeper, tries to get around the corner. He does. And he'll fall forward for a first down out across the 20. The first time they bring pressure from the field right there. Oh, they got away with a hold there by Wiley. The tight end just wrapped up the blitzer, Barron. You expect them to see it. Duggan looking to throw in first down, delivers shot to the sidelines of CBN Williams. Holly. Miller. Has a little crease, has a block on the edge. Look out, Kendra Miller in a foot race. They won't catch him. And the Frogs with the first touchdown tonight, 75 yards. You've been seeing these linebackers play well all night. You got to fit your gap. He gets inside, loses the vision, and that's what opened it up. Number three, not quite collapsing down, shooting down. These linebackers have been aggressive all night. This time they miss again. In this matchup, the first one all season between two running backs with a thousand yards. It's Kendra Miller, not B. John Robinson, who makes the play. Finally see a touchdown, and they are in command up 10 here. On the edge, Whittington makes a couple guys miss. Jordan Whittington's got great speed, the stiff arm, and he's knocked out at midseason or midfield, and finally a spark by Milton. Good job by 16 right here. Now he works around it, makes a couple guys miss, and now he's got the speed. Your game. Yours scanning downfield and launches for Worthy, and again overshoots the speedy target. Downfield. No, and he, he's got the speed to walk away, get away from Bud Clark, and he does. I mean, he goes right by him. You can see the defender, the safety, Perry trying to get back there. Career start. And B. John Robinson. Makes a very acrobatic cut, but is not prepared on the backside. Anytime you're going against B. John Robinson, he's trying to run this to the right. Like most plays, it's taken away. He makes everybody miss, especially the safeties. When he Just 22 yards and his 11 carries so far. Roshan Johnson spells him. Worthy here on the screen. Heavy traffic at a bunch of big. Sarkisian down 10. Rolling the dice here. we got to get to the Horn Frogs 40. Yours. Catch made, first down, that's Sanders. He rushed three, you're gonna drop eight, makes the windows really tight. Ewers gets back, makes the read, he works around. Kind of created a pick there, on, even though it was zone. Whittington again, he sparked this drive, the 25 yard gain now. It, you know, you get those two receivers out front, they're stock blocking, eventually you're gonna stock block and then release. Moment. Elon Robinson comes in motion and they flip it in the flat and the catch made right at the line there saying we've got to be able to pick things up they made a good point foreshadowing themselves about how difficult this defense is to get ready for defense has been really good after halftime shot to the end zone and short of that is Sanders who goes up and makes a catch and you see how about the little move Underneath the other big tight end, he gets behind him and then Team talking to the big guys up front there. He sure is. DJ Campbell in there. That's a great to make that play. Roshan Johnson cannot escape. Drop behind the line. One defender away from the ball. Off the play fake. Ewers back paddling close to the end zone over the head. And zipped too high. Shot to finally get Texas on the board. They were definitely thinking seven in that drive, probably the last possession or two. Here we go. Stone's kickoff. He is taken at the five. Davis knocked down by one of his blockers. Miller's the back. 
He's got it. Miller's big scamper kind of. Dug in, chased again, and he'll be brought down near the line of scrimmage. Final quarter begins with a crucial third and three for TCU. Duggan, oh, trying to hit him on a slant, and see it down. I think he felt the pressure coming from the inside from Jaron Thompson. See him working over? He senses that and feels that. And even though he didn't get a hit to be able to hit him to separate him from the football, I think just his presence there. Got to get the football back with decent field position. They come after the punt again. Punter goes down. Flag comes out again. Jordy Sandy. Well, they blocked three punts this year. And obviously, Kirk, you felt like they liked their Personal chances foul. to block one tonight. The kicker, number zero, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic, first down. This is saying that they got a finger on it. And I mean, they're coming free. And no wonder they think they can block one. No one's picking them up. Two guys come free, overshown in the in the safety there. Crawford, see if they got a finger on this. Boy, overshown. No, no, no did not. So Sark and Tim Banks, the special teams coordinator, they roll the dice. Warren Frogs with the ball at the 42. De Mercado plows straight ahead. 90 degrees, and they're playing up. 95 100 snaps on defense. It's a cool night. Duggan on the edge. Second time tonight he's made a positive play with his feet. It's a first. Di Mercado has a little crease and almost ran through a tackle all the way to the house. Duggan had time. Now he's flushed and throws it away. Zipped into the corner and it's just dropped. And it was the freshman Jordan Hudson. Texas brings pressure. Duggan backpedals. Lost to the end zone. Wide open. Johnson. Touchdown. I think aren't on the same page. Watch the safety in the back end. They're disguising pressure here. And then that ends up dropping. Now watch the safety in the back end. Right here is the confusion. Go to the post. The safety doesn't go with him. Had no idea that Johnston snuck. Credit Kendra Miller. He did a nice job picking up the blitz there to give his quarterback the chance to find the wide open. Just to go back, Barron is showing blitz, which would normally mean he's going to be in man-to-man -man coverage. But Barron shows the blitz, and then he comes out of it. He goes into man-to-man -man mode. He thinks he's got the inside receiver locked up, so his eyes are on the receiver. And then he realizes, wait, do you have Johnston? Do I have Johnston? And then nobody has Johnston on the back end. So you're saying, how in the world do you leave in coverage that time? Anthony Cook just not on the right coverage, and it cost him. And from a yard deep, Nolan Robinson has the edge, really patient return, and he sets Texas up in TCU territory. Here, start in the right corner. Make it look like you're coming down to the right side and then come all the way back with that design wall. And then he lowers his head like he's in a track meet. I thought he might get to the corner, but a good job of forcing him back inside. But a big return for Texas down 17 to 3. Texas tonight isn't very little running the football. Ewers took a long look and then finally tucks it and position there. Another throw to the edge. And not. Eugene Robinson. And still. The battle up front has been favored to TCU. Again. Barber on the edge. Dodges a tackle. <laughs> on the move. Looks to throw back to his left. Flips it short. And catch made by Sanders. I thought, okay, he's going to roll out here because he wants to go to the wheel route down the sideline. Really sells it hard to the right. Gets exactly what he wants in a one-on-one -on -one matchup, and then he doesn't take it. Look at that in the background. You got the talented player on the So a missed opportunity. Texas set up with first down at the 20. Yours for Worthy, and a flight comes out. There was hand fighting with Hodges Tomlinson. Plays with the game on the line. Pass interference, number one. Defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. What hurt him there, Chris, is his head went down and he makes contact. 
you know, at that point, the official's going to make an easy pass. And just remember, they get down here. It's not easy to run the ball against this defense. Try to throw it to the end zone, and the fastball zipped to. Second and goal. He drops the snap and has to just fall on it. He get that ball back. I mean, a perfect snap. Ball hits the elbow of of Bijan Robinson. I boy, I cannot believe he gets his elbow. He lost six yards, and now in third down, lob to the end zone, incomplete. Inside the five, Bud Clark comes over, makes the play. Almost comes up with an interception. Good job of breaking on the ball from the middle of the field to get out there. Keelan and Bijan Robinson in the backfield. Lobbed to the end zone. He tried to get it to Sanders in heavy traffic. I, I think that's just like I said. You, you, I just circled him. You're going to work him across. I don't know what the read is here, but look at the coverage. You got two or three different TCU defenders there. That would have been a miraculous play, but a good job of knocking that away. On stop, B. John Robinson sliding out on a wheel route. Take a look at this. The defender, Kamara, right here falls. And look at the quarterback. Plenty of time to see that and instead checks it down. And the situations for Texas here in the second half. They come over with a total of three points. Kendra Miller knocked down and of course you get the best back in America you're second and short and the Horn Frogs protecting this two touchdown lead will move defense Di Mercado spelling him he's got the football and he breaks free they're starting to get chunk yardage now with their running game and every time they can run the ball and get ahead of the six and move the chains for another first down. Texas' a chance of Mountain to come back. Dwindle. Hadn't lost another game at home this year. Texas a lot harder to beat in this place than they are in the road. And I think it's a feather in the cap because of the style of football. The, the, you know, the first half, this was a hard-hitting, physical, defensive game. In December. But they can get closer to that playoff spot. Oh, Johnson had it right on the number one. Yeah, it, it, you don't see this very often. A great move to kind of stutter step, get to the inside. I thought Jaron Thompson may have had enough time there to be able to see that ball come out of his hands. He was ready to try to hit him. All eyes on Jordy Sandy. They don't come anywhere near him. They say 15 yards away from the punter that time. And the fair catch is made at the 25. They've learned. Rivalry win in Austin. That'll be huge. Yours. Flips it over the middle, and the catch is made by Whittington. Takes quick on the edge. Yards after catch, that time downfield. Pitch on the sideline again, and incomplete. That Some shots downfield. Three-man rush, lots of time. Ewers just drops the ball and then falls on it. That is night. Nice. Just lost his footing. I mean, they're, they're only rushing three. They're, they're playing some man underneath. Good coverage downfield. He just, just lost his footing. Proud. Of the scheme and the effort by this defense. Third and 17, yours. Another slip there by Whittington. He didn't make it short here. And Texas will have a, a, a chance to keep hope alive if they can convert it. That didn't look like a catch oh, from that angle. I have no, no, another no. look at that for sure. I'm surprised they, they're going to buzz down and bring it Yeah, replays back. just buzzed. Yeah. That's under in. further review. That'll be an incomplete pass. In one. After why, the reverse. Why, you wonder why the ball was underthrown because he has such a big arm, but. You know, late blitz, but it's just getting a good push from the inside and not really able to get into that throw and comes up short. Newers needs some magic here on fourth and 17. And he will just launch downfield into traffic. And that was Sanders going up for it, and it's picked. They really didn't complete. Yeah, it looked like he had it, and then he ends up. Ball, go, high point to ball, try to locate the ball, comes down. Hit and the, the ground, ball, yeah. yeah. Ball comes out. So and TCU will take over. 4.46 to go. Just the top two teams, and TCU thinking well beyond that. They have a game against Baylor on the road. Any objective analysis, you keep winning football games, you'll be exactly where you want to be. Four undefeated teams coming into today and could go at home against Texas Tech. They played solid tonight, although Duggan just 
Drops the ball. It's scooped up by the Longhorns. J.D. Barron with a scoop and score. A shocking play. And Texas still has life. And the state. It's a big play. The first touchdown for Texas tonight comes from the defense. You know, sometimes, 52 scoop and score. Sometimes on a mesh point, you know, you, you, you worried about who's going to take it, who has it. And here, there's nobody that gets in there. It's just a simple, tries to pull it, can't get it out of there. Then he dives to be able to get it just to secure the football. And a guy who's had a huge game for Texas, Barron, who's been blitzing and making tackles and doing a good job in coverage. And here's that exchange. Eyes on his read. He's done it a million times. See, you, when you put that ball in there on his own read, the back and the quarterback don't know who's going to have it until you make the read on 88. Yeah, he's... And Stone boots it away into the end zone. And you see... And Miller and kind of shoot. Miller again. That time he's smacked and dropped for a one yard loss. Sorrell is here. So much he's been in the game, he's been working out. This time he comes back to the inside. That blitz off the edge. He's able to work and use that leverage to the inside against the tackle. Andrew Coker. Going to make it with his legs. Throw. High. Caught by Johnston, and it's a first down. The big fella goes up and uses that height. Pick who you'd like to go to, to the inside, the barber, or the outside to the big man. Of course you're going to go to the big man, John. That was an important one, though. Clock inside of three minutes. And bulldozing ahead is DiMarcato. Enough. yard gain not have to snap it so they're using all of the play clock and banging forward is Miller and he's a yard and a half from oh, counting it out and Mercado he's been a good complimentary runner you will earn more respect for TCU for the way they played tonight than maybe any game that they played up to this point they met the physicality, it was a low scoring defensive game, kind of out of their comfort zone, and they answered the call with two big plays on the ground and through the air to get to a couple touchdowns. To